How's it going everybody? Patch notes have gone live for this new Ewok update which is coming out this week. Um, there's not too much going on here, but I'll go over it briefly. It says, Incoming Spook Mission. The night is dark, full of things that go yub-nub in the night. Welcome back to the forest moon of Endor, where Ewok hunt awaits. It's October, and with Halloween fast approaching, we thought there was no better time than now to bring back Ewok hunt. But we're not just bringing it back. We've got some changes on the way that we hope you'll enjoy. It says, You're going to need a bigger flashlight. We were discussing on how we could improve the mode. We quickly came to the idea of re revamping the play area. To do this, we're going to bring the regular version of Indoor into the mode with some key improvements tailored for the mode itself. You'll have much more of the forest available to you, and you'll need to stay hidden. So they're using the Indoor map from Galactic Assault. Um, it says, for those of you who haven't yet experienced Ewok Hunt, the premise is simple. When the game starts, the teams will be split between one single Ewok while everyone else is playing as a Stormtrooper. Each defeated Stormtrooper will respawn as another Ewok, multiplying their numbers until the Empire's forces have been completely eliminated. Imperial forces will need to survive until the evacuation shuttle arrives. Do so and they'll make it off indoor and claim the win. Should all the stormtroopers be defeated, it will be an Ewok celebration taking place. Of course, this is indoor at night and the night is full of darkness and full of terror. Stormtroopers will have to make good use of their flashlights as without them, the last thing they will see will be an Ewok shaped shadow and by then it'll be too late. Um, it says, as a stormtrooper, you'll be wanting to keep your eyes out for any supply crates that you happen to stumble across. With your visibility being reduced to nothing but what's in front of your flashlight, these crates could easily be missed. Should you stumble across one, you might find a special transmitter. This transmitter will signal to the Imperial fleet in orbit, uh, expediting the time of arrival of the shuttle. The transmitter will spawn in random place each time. There's a lot of risk when venturing out into the forest alone to look for it, but if you should find it, the payoff will be significant. Okay, so they added this little transmitter thingy, so if you happen to find the transmitter out in the woods, then the shuttle will come a bit faster. Um, I could see this being a little bit broken though, depending on, like if this plays out the same exact way as the other Ewok hunt, there's a lot of like downtime in Ewok hunt, like if the Ewoks aren't doing very well, I could see the Stormtroopers just running out, finding this very quickly, like once everybody memorizes the pattern that these are going to randomly spawn in, then everyone's just going to go to those spots over and over and over, they're going to find this transmitter and then the match is going to end really quickly. So that's what I predict is going to happen with this little transmitter thingy. Uh, then it says, much like the transmitter, stormtroopers will also be able to find upgrades in the form of the DLT-19 with a flashlight that never runs out of battery and an incendiary grenade. Okay, so that's staying the same as before. Uh, the permanent flashlight is a welcome upgrade as it removes the need to stand in perpetual darkness while it comes off its cooldown. With multiple of these located throughout the map, it can be a great idea to locate another stormtrooper who has also equipped it. You're stronger together and even stronger with a DLT-19 with an unlimited flashlight. As for incendiary grenades who doesn't like a bit of fire perfect when you find yourself backed into a corner uh, then it just says that there's traps again just like Ewok hunt before uh, hunter instincts they've changed a little bit it says we've made some changes to the hunter instincts ability for the Ewoks as well while active Ewoks will now be able to see other Ewoks making it easier to find a partner or two to hunt with uh, they will also be able to distinguish between wounded troopers and regular if you're wounded then you'll show up with a red outline while stormtroopers at full health will be yellow this will also affect the footprints that get left behind, allowing Ewoks to stalk their wounded prey with greater ease. And it says map rotation. With the addition of this variant on indoor, we will be adding it to the map rotation to the Ewok Hunt playlist. Another night on indoor update arrives in just a few days on October 23rd, and we'll be back tomorrow with the full release notes. Okay, so I'll be honest, this is kind of disappointing. I was expecting there to be a little bit more coming to this. Like, we knew that there was going to be a map change, but other than that, there's not really much difference. It's just Ewok Hunt on the other indoor map. Um, they gave the Ewoks a slight buff and they added a transmitter and then everything's exactly the same. So I'm predicting it's going to have the same problems as the other Ewok Hunt. I bet people play it and then after like two or three matches, they're going to realize that it's just the same old, same old. It's a dead mode. Like anytime I try to find Ewok Hunt, 
very rarely can I find a mode. And then if by some chance I wait like 10 to 20 minutes to find a lobby, I finally find one. Then when that round's over, everyone backs out and then I'm back to square one. I can't find anybody. So I think this will bring a little bit of people back for just this Halloween event. And then people are going to stop playing it again because they haven't done anything different. If this was something different like a Wampa Hunt mode or a Geonosian Hunt mode or just any other variation other than Ewok Hunt, then I think that that would make people play a little bit longer or it would give a little bit of hype back to this. But this is just the same old stuff. Like you can't level up your Ewoks. You can't level up your Stormtroopers. You don't get any XP or anything. You literally just get some credits at the end. And this is just a game mode to goof off in and just have fun. Um, so I was hoping that they would at least add like AI Ewoks. I think that would at least give this game mode like something extra to it. Maybe add it to instant action so people could play it offline. Just I thought maybe they were going to like revamp Ewok Hunt to make people want to play it. And this doesn't sound like that that's what they're doing. So if they at least added AI, then maybe you could play it when the lobbies aren't as full. Like they could just lower the required amount for the lobby to start, maybe make it only like two or three stormtroopers, and then have like, I don't know, five or six AI Ewoks, and then just go from there. So this isn't really anything too special. Like, yeah, I'll play it. It'll probably be fun for a day or two, and then it'll just be more of the same so this is a bit disappointing but i could be wrong maybe it'll be amazing on a new map it'll be a whole new experience we'll just have to wait and see but let me know what you guys think of this down in the comment section down below are you guys excited for this are you like do you guys still play ewok hunt on the regular because like i said i can't find matches almost ever i've tried on stream many times and then i always just give up because i'm just sitting there wasting time because you can't find matches uh, so let me know down below give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i'll be back again with another video for the star wars trailer and then for the uh, patch notes for tomorrow so i'll talk to you guys then be sure to join the discord if you haven't already follow me on twitch at swanee plays games live and i will talk to you guys in the next video will you join me accept your fate I grew impatient.